Hey, what's going on guys? Root of the Null here, jumping back on the bandwagon with you guys for some Python tutorials. So uh, let's get idle fired up and let's see what we can do here. We have been recently working with uh, some string functions, and we've imported the string module and we've been able to uh, do a lot of tests with boolean and that sort of thing, boolean functions, and uh, test whether or not the string is made up of uppercase or lowercase letters, maybe even some numbers, and that sort of thing. So today, we're going to be doing that once more. But we're going to be looking at it with space characters, or white space. So when we get our function all set here, let's jump back into the action. We can say self.string, and this will be a string character. This is a string. We can add a little tab character in there, just for the sake of it. And then this is a, and then maybe a new line character, because that, that, those are nice. So let's see what we can do here. Normally, you would be able to run the self.string function, or at least you would be able to use your, your string variable here uh, if you're running inside of a uh, anything outside of object-oriented programming. You wouldn't need the self keyword beforehand, but because we are working in object-oriented programming, it's a good idea to have that. You just need your variable name. So in our case, it's string. And you use your dot selector, and you can test. You can test, like, is space. And we can print this out. We can run this, and we get false, because we do have this uh, is a string, this exclamation point, and all this other junk in here that doesn't mean anything but white space, they're all, they're all actual characters. So if we run this, though, now we've got a space character, we've got a tab key, we've got some more space characters, we've got a new line, we've got some more space characters. This should run perfectly fine. Yeah, exactly. It runs, and it's true. Anything in this string is full of a space character. So uh, let's try it. Let's try and recreate this all on our own. Let's create a new function. And then I'll define is space, and then the string to look through. So now we can loop through it again for character in string to look through. And now I want to introduce to you guys a new variable inside the uh, string module. If the character is in string dot uh, white space, and white space is the new variable that we should be looking at. White space is, let's first of all, let's import string. I'll show you guys inside the interactive shell here. Import string. We can have string, and then if you do dot white space, it's a string full of a tab key, a new line character, some other things that, like character, line feeds, and that sort of thing, and spaces, and these are all things that don't have any actual, like, alphabetical or numerical value. It's just, it's just white space. It's just a blank like area or a blank character. So if we import string inside of our script here, we can give this a go. If character is not in the white space character though, that's when we have a problem. That's where we're going to want to turn false. Because remember, when we return something inside of a function, we break out of everything that we're doing. We break out of this for loop and we break out of the function because we've already got an answer for the function. We just say, nope, it's not going to work. We return false. But when we're done looping through it all, and if we haven't found a problem, we can just go ahead and say, yeah, that works fine. We can return true. So uh, let's try this in our own words now. Let's do uh, print, so we can display self.isSpace, because remember, this function is a local function that we've created ourselves inside this class. Then we can go back up here and type in self.string, because we're going to be testing for that string variable. If we run this, both of them are true, because we still have the tab key in here, we have a space, and we have a new line character, and we're comparing it against the real built-in function with this one that we just created ourselves with the, uh, with the string function here. The string module, sorry. So if we added, let's say, a random A in there, though, it's going to have a problem, because nah, now you've got something that isn't white space. It's going to have a hissy fit. So, but yeah. There you go, guys. This is another simple idea. It's just looping through the string and taking a look at some of the things that we've already predefined that are white space, and then we can decide whether or not the string that we're looking for contains these characters or not. But hey, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. I know this is a real simple and easy tutorial, just like some of the other few have been. But hey, if you stick with me, I'm sure it'll be more rewarding, and uh, you'll, you'll understand the fundamentals and the basics that I know you guys crave to understand. Because when you have those, you can really just build your knowledge higher and higher, and you can do more things with it. But... Anyway, thank you guys for watching, though. Thanks again. It'd be nice if you could like the video. Maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Tell me what other subjects or some other ideas that you might want me to cover, some other functions that I could explain, or some modules that you might want me to go in-depth with, and that sort of thing. And maybe subscribe. I don't know. If you want to see more things from me, it's definitely a good idea. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.